I'm Oliver Trevina in studio for The Hollywood Reporter, joined by the lovely Yael Grobless. How are you? Thank you. Good. It's going. We, we've got a lot in common. <laughs> Apparently. We like the Spice Girls. I know. And we both <laughs> have it on our phones. But are you new to it because you just said you just, just downloaded it? No, it's kind of, it's been so long that of course I had to re, I, oh, I have okay. to go back to Israel, find my original CD. You know, okay. Context, so I had to download it on my phone. Okay, so they were big in Israel as well. Oh, they were huge. Are you kidding? Look we all that. had those shoes and it was a whole, you had to be one of them. Okay. You couldn't be anything in the middle. You had to be one of them. Okay. Yeah. I got yeah. I got yeah. Well, Jane the Virgin has a fan base just similar to the Spice Girls. Of course. So No, but it is. It's huge. It really really is huge. Has That's that true. crossed over to Israel? Jane the Virgin? Yeah. yeah, it's actually doing really well. Once again, just like the Spice Girls. I know. So you are you kind in? of a Spice Girl. You're I a TV Spice Girl. I am girl. a Spice Girl. You're a TV Spice Girl. I just have to start bit like Baby Spice. Oh. <laughs> is that not good? No, it's fine. I okay. think I just... Was that the one who was also wearing the, the UK flag? No, that was Jerry. Jerry. I'm, I'm giving away that's far that's too much the way that I can just name them like this. <laughs> and everyone's being like, why are we talking about the Spice Girls? We're not. We're here to talk about Jane the Virgin because the season finale, yes. It's over. The, well, the season's finishing. It's oh, done. It almost is, yeah. I mean, we're done. What a we season. Filming it, what so. a season. And what a season for you. Crazy. Yeah. Amazing. Yeah, Crazy. big storylines. A lot going huge. on. Yes. A lot going on. Yeah, I think them. if anyone wasn't aware of Petra, they are now. Oh, yes. Yeah, and, uh, you know, the, the, the relationship and the yes, stuff like that. Yeah. yeah. Rosario Dawson and all that. Does it happening. get any better? It's it amazing. Get... How prior to, to the scenes did you get to read the script? Because it one of those shows where you literally get last this... minute. Last minute, okay. Really, yeah, okay. just the day or the day off the table read, basically. So when we okay. get the table read, it's usually a day or two before we start the episode. That's so soon. So, But the best thing about it is we're a very emotional bunch. Okay. So you really get to see everybody's reactions at the table reading. Right. And then, what? Right. You! Right. You're like, it's, it's all, I'm reading it for the first time too. You right. know? You're like, that's so why you're like, here. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> now it makes sense. <laughs> yes. Okay, let's go. Um, amazing. So what was your, I mean, you obviously not reenact it, but what was your thoughts? Was it pressure? Was it a lot going into that? It's for a big storyline. No, the, I mean, th this season in general, when oh, you were getting these, God. Yes. the no, episodes. I thought, well, specifically for Petra, it's something I kind of always wished that would happen for her, that okay. she'd find someone who really loves her, right, who sees right. through her. Right. I feel like this relationship brought so many new things out of Petra that we've mm -hmm. never seen before. So mm -hmm. as an actor, to be able to still be bringing new things out of your character in season four. That, right, right. When does that happen? It's, it's a dream. amazing. And so we see this whole vulnerable side and this whole emotional side, and I think it's it's really beautiful, and I hope it keeps going. We hope so. We hope mm -hmm. so. Well, there is going to be a season five, mm -hmm. and possibly yes, season six, six, seven, eight, nine. Who knows? Uh, hopefully. I think it'll carry on going. I mean, the Spice Girls carried oh, yeah. on going. Yes. We just went full Told circle. We, we went full circle. <laughs> Was there a favorite part of uh, this season so far for you personally? Like well, your favorite scene that sticks out when it's I funny say that? because we have so many scenes that are my favorites, but I was I was just thinking about it, and I think one of my favorite scenes actually on set had not that much to do with the scene, although it was a beautiful scene, and with Rosario. Uh -huh. It was because I got to wear, for the first time, I think, on the show, kind of sweatpants and a T-shirt and right. be barefoot. Right. And I was just celebrating. Okay. Like, I didn't have to have my hair done. I had a little, like, ponytail, so mm -hmm. I didn't have any, like, extensions in or anything. And I was just so bloody comfortable that I was bouncing around everybody was laughing at me and brilliant just, brilliant yeah. and so is that more so you is much that more, more you yes, okay that's more you because you dressed up the, I mean you're lovely so oh, thank you but this is you know a team of people doing this it. is like, a it's team not, it's not how same, wake up same in my hair <laughs> team, a team of people a team of people um, so going into the scenes with Rosario was that the first time that you guys had met yes at the table read oh I was so, terrified it was before it was uh, big, yeah. it was really just the day we started working actually the first time we met and 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 I was, you know, really, really excited to hear that she signed on, and and it was fantastic. And she's just brilliant. Right. And she's kind of, she's the kind of actor who, even if it's not my coverage, and we're doing a scene that I'm not even necessarily supposed to be crying, mm -hmm. I'm just mm -hmm. crying. Right. Just looking at her, I'm like right. that was so beautiful. She's you like, are emotional. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Hold back the tears throughout this interview. It makes me feel awkward. Tears just we'll see, make we'll me see feel awkward. Okay. Oh no, she's going. Um, but yeah, the, the show in itself has touched base on so many important topics you know and mm. I think that's why it's sticking around people can relate to it yeah. so many people oh, thank because you. they cover so much there really is no you know no box left unchecked and yeah. I think that's the secret why it's going to carry on going I've got knock on wood you knock on wood this is wood this is, these are real wooden chairs <laughs> we established that did you yeah. hear it yeah it's there proof. you go spare no <laughs> amounts of money at Hollywood Reporter um I want to go back a bit because finding out more about you being from Israel mm -hmm. born in Paris born in Paris raised in Israel raised in Israel Acting in Israel a lot. Yeah. You did a lot over mm -hmm. there. And then jumping over to the States. Yes. That's that's a risk, right? Uh, yes. Yeah. I, I didn't plan it. I didn't know that's where anything was going to go. Right. And I never thought I'd be working here. And uh, and I just, you know, it was a lot of many lucky breaks and, and ended up on the best thing ever, which is Jane the Virgin. There you go. There you go. Did you have anything lined up when you made the jump? 
I only moved here when the pilot for Jane the, Mer the Virgin got picked up. Okay, got so you. I wasn't so that helped planning. a little bit? You yeah. didn't know? No, okay. I didn't know. Right. I, I knew when, when it got picked up, yes. Right, and right. I was like, oh, I have two weeks to actually pack my life and move. And how was that two weeks? Yeah. And so it was <laughs> hectic and exciting and terrifying and, you know, some panic attacks, a lot of excitement. It was great. Okay. I had to leave my um, parents and cat. Yeah, home. JP. JP, JP Jean Pierre, Jean Pierre, I know yes. really well. I know him really well. <laughs> um, but saying that, that, since the transition, what's been one thing that sticks out that's different from the world here, mm -hmm. in the in the entertainment world, in the acting world, and the world there? Well, this How is, is really. Different? I think the the entertainment world in Israel is fantastic because with very little budgets, they manage to do incredible mm -hmm. things. And as you know, you know, any TV shows and films get brought over here, and people love it. And I think there are superb minds and very right, creative right. people back there. But here, obviously, it's kind of the the the, the hotspot of our industry. It's where everything kind of bubbles and happens. So it's just driving around or, you know, most of the people you meet in LA mm -hmm. are going to be somehow connected to the industry. Right, right. So it's, it's just really in Israel, interesting. I'm it sure really it's a bit feels different. like where everything happens. Right, right. Yeah, in Israel, when you say you're an actor, they're like, what? Right, right. That's amazing. Yeah. Here you're like, I'm an actor. They're like, again. Yes. Again. Yes. So am I. So yeah, is yeah. he. So is she, you know? Yeah, yeah. So it's kind of. Um, but to, that's why I never thought I'd be working here right, because everybody right. wants to be working here. I they never do. thought I stood a chance. And now you haven't stopped. And, and now, thank you God, stopped. not yet. Yeah, yeah. No, you won't. Keep you hiring. Won't. You won't. Yeah. What's been the <laughs> toughest part of that transition, though? Stepping into a well, show like this. Well, moving here by myself right. was really tough. But luckily, the cast is really like a second family to me, and they've been incredibly supportive and wonderful. Okay. And and being on this show, well, the you know it's a much larger audience right. and. Like in anything in our industry, everything's a risk. You never know right. if it's going to get picked up. You don't know if you're going to get kicked off. Right. <laughs> you yeah. don't know if you're going to get killed off. Like right. it could always end. If you and cry then, too much, I think you cry too much, you're going to get kicked off. Much. You laugh too much if you don't cry enough. Right. Um, and then at some point, I actually had two characters because mid season two, yeah, I had yeah, two yeah, sisters show up. Yeah, yeah. So then you know, and I then thought, get well, accused of great. murdering her this season. Oh, uh, twice or something. And so like you know, I felt like I have a little bit of job security. I was close to guess because it'd have to kill me off twice. Right. Right. Yeah. <laughs> so but, by the way, I didn't even out. think about that, but that's a very right? valid point. It was point. a little comfort there. If you're playing twins, so any actors out there watching this, suggest to play twins. Well, this is like a terrible plane crash and both die. You know. Oh, this has gone happen. dark now. This yeah, has gone sorry, dark. Sorry, yeah. Sorry. This, this is where I start it. crying. Oh, well, go for it. No. Just don't get fired. No, it's not going to happen. <laughs> We're going to do the THR's top five. Five easy questions. They're easy. Easy. Don't look worried. Promise. Right. Promise. TV show you watched as a kid that you wish you were in. Beverly Hills 90210. Okay. Um, one actor or actress who inspired you growing up? Oh, uh, Ch Charlie Chaplin. Great. Brilliant, yeah. Um, one word to describe your journey as an actress so far? Really unexpected. Unexpected, sorry, one word. Unexpected, I like that. Yeah. You could have had really as well. Okay, not really unexpected. It's not like some slime I falls know. on your head or anything. <laughs> ah, <I laughs> There's failed. nothing, you're still in the chair. <laughs> the chair push, starts folding. You just slowly push over my chair. Like, yeah, oh, no, we're good. I wouldn't do that, I wouldn't do that. It's because of JP. Oh, sorry. Um, one thing that we might not know about you. First thing that comes into mind. Could be so random. I'm a great cook. Okay, that's great. That's a good one. And last show that you binge watched. Handmaid's Tale. Okay, love that. I do have one more question. Okay. If you had to suggest one project from Israel to watch. Oh my God, there are many. Okay. Okay, give us many. Give us a few really quick because I, I, I would oh. like to get some recommendations. Give us three. There are great films coming out. Well, I, I don't want to... I can't name them by name, it's just you have to do a little research. But it's so Israel's known for a place where many of the films and TV shows that come out have to do with something political or okay. or war related or army related. And there are some great young creators who are doing things that are unrelated and some beautiful things that are coming out about what Israel is actually like, not the way the rest of the world sees us, right, not right, right. related to politics. Right. And it's really beautiful and that's what I really want people to see in right. Israel. So the other the I other recommend. side. Right. The other right. side of it. Yeah. How much fun it is, the great nightlife, right. the wonderful right. people, the warmth. Right. So our system will. Yeah, so, yeah. yeah, nice. Okay, we'll check them out. We love it. Thank you. Thank you so much. That was so great. Yeah, that's it. That's it.